Hey guys, Kenny here, and I'm back playing Beyond Eyes. So, well, this is just loading. Let's see if I can remember where we are. So, I've been just through the village and had to get around some pretty, you know, scary pigeons because pigeons are scary, apparently. But I don't seem particularly any closer to finding my cat. Now, I have to say, so far this game is you know, kind of enjoyable, I suppose, but I don't really feel as though I'm making any progress. I'd say we seem to be getting closer, but the gameplay isn't really changing very much. It's more or less the same. So I walk around and find some stuff. I usually come across something that I have to get around and uh, then I figure out how to get around it and then carry on. <laughs> it's not that creative. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it really doesn't change that much. Um, I just find something else that I have to get around. Okay. Okay, can't go down there. Let's see. You don't really have to learn like any new skills or anything. You just have to do something slightly different or go around things in a slightly different way. It's um I don't know. I'm kind of losing interest. So if you're still watching this, thank you very much for uh hanging in there. Right. What's going on over here cuz Big black scary lines. Okay, fine. We won't go that way. Okay, so I've been all the places. Oh, nope. You can go down this way. Okay, so I must be close to some water. Can't go that way. Give me a pussy cat. Do you know, I'm not really sure this cat wants to be found. I'm just gonna put that out there. Okay, there's got to be like a pathway or an alleyway or something. What's that? Yeah, my controller is really sticky. I think somebody with sticky fingers has been playing with this. It's like honey or jam or something. Yeah. Huh. What 
What's that, a hammer? Why is there a hammer on the bench? Or what is that? Oh, it's a bottle. How far I can see across? Mm, not very. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of is. Um, labyrinth <laughs> at the end when she's trying to find Toby in the like MC Escher room and she can hear him below her but she can't actually go to him without jumping Interesting that the storm makes it even harder for me to see what I'm go- uh, well, see what I'm doing. Ah, uh, see this isn't good because I think I've just happened onto a beach or something. I really want to go that far from the wall. Okay, birds. That's a good sign. Yeah. Okay, birds hanging out on the rocks. <laughs> How far do I have to go before I actually start walking into the ocean? And is this a good idea? At least I'm smart enough to stop. <laughs> What's over there? More birds. This is slightly unsettling, actually, because I can't see anything. I'm just going to keep following the water. Where are you, cat? Oh, I've hit. I've hit a pier, maybe? Pier? Something. By the way, what you're seeing here is basically my technique for any big scary dungeon or maze or whatever. Just pick a wall and keep going against it. Ah, here we are. Oh, 
much do you want to bet I can't walk straight there? That's good. At least I found dry land again. It feels like another one of these big areas. Oh, great key. Okay. And another building. There's a swing set over there. If I can get straight there. Oh. Let's maybe not go on the Ferris wheel. Again, this is a little bit like the village. Where are all the people? And does nobody seem like maybe they might want to help a little blind girl? Nanny. Yeah, Nani, where are you? Hang on, sorry, I have to readjust. Ah, it's better. Okay. It's over there. More birds. My cat has come to join. Say hi, Simba. Say hi. She likes to sit on me when I play. What was that? Oh! Right, it's a drawbridge. Does it count as a drawbridge if it's one of those ones that goes sideways? Okay. No, 
Now, I will say this for this game. It keeps you going in the right direction. Like, I'm not particularly finding this difficult. I think the only problem, though, is that if you're always going in the right direction, then aren't, isn't it just basically a game where you're walking around? Okay, we don't like the mean cats. But yes, what I was saying before is if it's always keeping you going in the same in the right direction, then kind of what's the point the challenge isn't really increasing and like I said before I'm not really making any progress nothing's really changing and I'm starting to wonder what the point is because the novelty of the discovery and everything was really cool at first um, this concept of all the different things with the different noise and things not quite being what they seem that's really interesting however now I'm at the point where it's like, okay, well I've kind of done that. I'm not really seeing any new mechanics. It's not really building. So how much further are we going to go? And also how obnoxious is this cat? And also, how long is it till I get run over by a train? Okay, not too long, apparently. Okay, found that bird. What's going on over there? Oh. More water, okay. Let's follow the river for a while. Oh, I wonder if it's a pond, not a river. I think it's a pond. Okay, so, about a pond. Right, let's go back and find out what's going on with this wall. Oh. Sorry, if anybody heard that, that was me <laughs> squeezing a balloon. <sighs>
this looks positive. Now that is a river. And I ran into a tree. Get around the tree. Can I even go around that tree? No. Butterfly following me around, I just noticed. Oh, there's another wall. Okay. another butterfly now. However, I am also stuck. Well, okay, that's a wall. Alright, what's going on over here? Okay, we don't like crows. Huh. Let's try going this way. Is that a waterfall? Huh, it would appear to be so. Can't get there that way. Um okay, theoretically I should be able to get across this if this was a normal game. Uh. 
Okay, please don't fall in the water and drown and die. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was kind of cute. kind of a path now. Let's see where that takes us. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. It takes us into some bushes. Nani? Why, why is my cat always behind a wall? Nanny. What? What's going on? What? Ah. Okay. That's not creepy at all. At least I can't see the fact that I'm in a graveyard. I think this is pretty much proving that this is a demon cat. Demon cat luring the young child to her actual death. Hmm? <gasps> See, I told you. Demon cat. It's a ghost cat. Oh god, now I feel bad for calling it a ghost cat. Okay, it, it was actually a ghost cat. Um, is it actually a ghost cat? But... But that's so sad! Well, that wasn't uplifting or enjoyable at all. I guess, I guess that's it. Um, 
Yeah, because it's taken me straight to the credits. Excuse me, I'm going to have a drink now. Okay. Well, I guess it's kind of time for me to sum up. Um, I really ought to have played this all in one go, I think. Um, I This is only the third let's play of this and they've all been about 20 minutes long so well this one's been about half an hour long so this is one of those games that you can probably do in an hour maybe two depends on how quickly I mean I <laughs> on my second one I faffed around a lot because I couldn't remember what I was doing um, and so I guess if you're taking it all in one big go it's probably more enjoyable it was really hard for me to go away and come back to it because it did feel very linear <laughs> it did feel very like how long am I going to go l pretty much literally walking in a straight line? Except for the bit where I had to go and get some bread and come back. Um, it was pretty much follow the sound uh, and then follow the sound some more. Um, but having said that, you know, um, I don't think this game is about the gameplay. I think it's about um, the, the, the artistic concept, I think, really is kind of what it's all about. And it is pretty. I'll, I'll give him that. I was let down by the story. I, I really wanted a happy ending. It was not a happy ending. I mean, I guess it was... It's not always a happy ending, but um, I prefer a happy ending. And um, so that kind of... I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. Oh, am I going to get an epilogue here? Oh, hey, is that the little girl from before? Okay, we're getting some points of redemption here, actually. <laughs> okay, that is a much better ending. Um, they could have done with that before the credits, really. Um, if any of you have seen my previous videos on this, I think that's the little girl that we helped find a ball for um, way back at the beginning um, so I guess it is nice that <laughs> well we've lost our cat but we've made a friend so that's all right um yeah I I'm not sure I can recommend playing this game I think it's beautiful to look at it's a really good one to start and it's a good one to explore but um, I think you'll find that it ends pretty quickly and uh, there's not an awful lot to the gameplay but anyway, thank you anyone who's tuned in. Um, I've had a couple viewers uh, as I've gone live. Um, and if you would like to see more videos like this, then please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's at Adastra. Well, actually, it's... God, what is it? It's Kenna at Adastra. Um, Ken is me. Hello. Um, and uh, Ad Astra1930 is my usual handle. So um, subscribe to my channel. Um, send me a like if you like it. Or um, let me know what other little games that you'd like me to play. I like to, to to look at these sort of indie games, um, things that have a little bit of a unique twist on the gameplay, not just the big old, you know, shooting them up zombies and all that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.